What is up everyone? This is Totally Random, back here with another video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join my channel and make sure you hit the bell for notifications. But anyway guys, got some more sort of breaking news about in the NFL with AJ McCarron, you know. Uh, apparently, you know, he broke his collarbone, supposedly, in the game versus the Browns. The preseason game, their second one. Uh, in the first drive, he got, I think it was Miles Garrett and a sack, and he got, he apparently broke it, but then... Later, like somewhat 10 hours ago, I'm just reading so many articles now, they're just saying how it wasn't broken. AJ McCarron went and got a second opinion on it, and the scan showed that it wasn't broken. So, well, I don't know. We'll see how that plays out. But, you know, and overall, I wanted to talk about the Bills quarterback situation. You know, based on now what I've seen watching the first two preseason games, I think Josh Allen's going to start. You know, I didn't know how well he was going to play with the second team um, against the Browns, but. But, I mean, it is the Browns, people are going to say that, but still, he looked good, you know, for a rookie. He wasn't making too many mistakes. He was not forcing any throws. He was making pretty good, accurate throws, you know, but a lot of them were really powerful throws, you know, not like, and the, the third, when he played with the third teams, you know, he was scrambling around, you know, on his back a lot because it was the third team, but he was going against the other third team, you know, so it wasn't like, it was kind of a... Not a win-win, but neither a lose-lose because he was going against the bad team versus with him playing with the bad team. So, you know, he can't really learn that much until he plays with the first team, which he'll be playing with the first team on the next preseason game. That's what the Bills announced, Sean McDermott. Uh, but talk about the whole battle, you know, as I said, I think Josh Allen now is going to start, maybe, possibly. I don't know. It really depends on this next preseason game, how he does with uh, the first team because he – See, with the Browns, he played with the second team, but there were a lot of first-team players still out there on the field. You know, Kelvin Benjamin, all those guys were still out there. And he looked, like I said, he looked good. Um, as much as I hate to say, you know, I, I'm not, I'm, you know, I've been supporting McCarron the whole way. You know, I watched him since he was in Alabama. I think McCarron could be starting wherever he goes, you know. But, I mean, you pick a first-rounder in, in the draft, you know, and you, your tension is to either start him or slowly push him in, get him into the field of the NFL, and slowly put him as a starting quarterback, you know. And I haven't mentioned Nathan Peterman, you know. Nathan, Nathan Peterman is, like, the safe option right now. Based on his first game, you know, the first, he took the he was the first team with uh, the Bills against the Panthers, and he, he played it really safe. You know, he's making those simple throws, the little, uh, not slants, but the routes when you know you cut back I can't I don't know why I can't remember them you know it's so easy to remember you should remember if you play Madden because it's I think it's slants or something I don't know but you know curl routes I think you know the Kelvin Benjamin I remember did it just go forward and cut back you know he did that he kept hitting that a bunch of times like 70 60 percent of his throws was that or dumping off to the wide receiver and then there was the one throw to Kelvin Benjamin which is kind of wide open sort of in a way um pretty easy I could have hit that uh that throw and you know I wasn't like impressed but I wasn't disappointed because you know he was very very safe uh but he did not make any of all the throws that I would have wanted to see AJ McCurran then comes in and he makes pretty much all the throws I expect him to make like pretty much he makes all the throws uh regardless of the except the ones that he threw away those are the ones that weren't that great or the incomplete ones you know he went deep like twice or once and you know it was just not they didn't look in touch yet but you know that's a that's always going to be a problem when you're preseason you're not going to be in sync yet with their wide receivers but you know he made all the throws especially those big third down ones so I was I mean I was like I was what I was expecting from McCarron you give him a good off he good offensive line you know and he they block he can pretty much make every throw and then uh as I said Josh Allen he did good for a rookie you know he's looked better out, out of all the rookies he's not he's like the one before the worst like the worst for me was Lamar Jackson but that's understandable for me and Lamar Jackson you know he looks completely lost in that system. He doesn't look like he's comfortable yet. The offensive line is not that great. I mean, he's playing with, like, what, the second or third team, you know, and they're all out of sorts. So I don't blame that on Lamar Jackson. I blame, blame that on what's going on there. And he's got a lot to learn, too. But uh, as I said before, I would have taken Lamar Jackson over um, Josh Allen, though, because uh, at least Lamar Jackson against D1 uh, elite NFL-style defenses, he played somewhat well, uh, you know, played – pretty good against Clemson two years I know the second year wasn't that close but that's he did his best that he could do and especially the year before that he did really well but um going back on to Josh Allen you know I think he's gonna play I think he's gonna start Nathan Peterman you know he's a safe option obviously as I said before but I don't think he's gonna play I think he may start it you know but it, it I think Josh Allen will easily overtake him after a while um uh, I'm afraid Jim McCarron you know I just 
I think he's done. I don't I don't think he has a chance, you know, because if Josh Allen's playing good, you know, it's that instinct, you know, when you got that new thing on the rock, that new car, you know, you want to ride that car, you know, you got your old car there, but the new car, you just, you got to ride it, you know, same thing with Josh Allen, you got that new quarterback, that rookie, you know, the whole stadium wants to see him, your whole team wants to see him, you know, that first throw, first preseason game for Josh Allen, even though it was out of bounds, you saw the roar of the stadium, you know, me looking at it from the perspective of Sean McDermott and the general manager being and all that, you know, I want to see Josh Allen play because he's our rookie, you know, and it's just exciting, you know, exciting to see a new guy, but on the negative side, you know, he's probably the worst quarterback I've ever seen taken in the first round um, after watching, you know, his highlights through college, you know, he was terrible he, against he had crap players on his team playing against crap opponents. You expect him to sort of balance that out, but it didn't. Uh, Jalen Ramsey pretty much explained it really well in his quote. You know, he's trash. I mean, I, I, because you against Oregon, you know, those teams like who have crap defenses. Like, I mean, just because they're D one, these teams are really crappy D one teams at the moment. You know, and they destroy Josh Allen. So, and people trying to make the excuse like he has no talent around him, but he's playing against no talent pretty much. So he, sh it should balance out. He should be the figure separating from the pack you know Carson Wentz when he played at South or North Dakota State or whatever co college it was he played good with the cr crap opponents around him against the crap teams you know um same with I can't remember the other quarterbacks too but you know we'll see I, I just think now I think McCarron's done I don't think he's gonna be playing I think Josh Allen's gonna be the starter from day one um or day two whatever but he's gonna be if he's thrown in there, you know, I've said he needs a couple of seasons to learn. I don't know at this point. The Bills better hope for the best. I think Peterman's going to start day one, but then Josh Allen's going to slowly take over. But um, I don't know. It, I'm not, I'm so, I sound so down, but, you know, it's interesting to hear out. But uh, anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts down below if you agree with me or not. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button and join my channel and make sure you hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, guys, be amazing.